Hello and welcome to Never Enough Cruising. I'm Amanda. I'm Jonathan. And uh, we had a bit of an incident outside our boat on Saturday oh, night. Oh, did we? Yes, we did, didn't we? Mr. Happy. Um, I'll give you the scenario. It was about quarter to 11 at night. We've got a really nice morning here. Beautiful. Really quiet, no problem. And uh, we have a boat going by. Let them go by first. And it's raining. And it's raining. Because it is summer. Yeah. So we just wait for them to go by. And we also have Amico, which is very, very unusual on a K&A. Yeah. So it's been really good. So those that know the K&A will probably know where we are. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it was quarter to 11 in the evening. tonight. And we it just was time for finished, bed. Yeah, just finishing watching our TV. So Mandy was taking the Tiller girls out for uh, last night. Empty. water of the garden yeah and uh, and i'd stepped off with my torch and we uh, also have um two small led security lights if you want to call it that that come on as soon as you go out the front of the boat yeah which as there's no street lights on the canal aids for mandy to see where she's going with the dogs yeah we've we've had them on there for and they lots. came on as they do and um, so anyway i'm 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 out there with the girls yeah. pitch black nobody around and then all of a sudden like all i could hear was this turn that light off turn that yeah, light off with a few more well, I, yeah that it got closer and yeah. then and i'm st and i'm stood on the towpath thinking well who's that because we're in the you know in the middle of nowhere <laughs> <laughs> and i'm looking down the row of boats and and i can't see any lights in windows on and i'm thinking yeah. well i i just don't know where it's coming from and then all of a sudden this man appeared at the darkness in a what well, i i'm gonna call classic football hooligan stance with his arms you can't, out and, you can't say that. well i know but people will know what i'm you talking might not about. even like football no well, we don't like football but anyway that's beside the point but that's what i was approached in in the dark with this guy coming out of the darkness darkness and, uh, and all i was just myself on the towpath nobody else about it, and the three dogs and then he just started this abuse to come out of his mouth about turning this turn that f like word off yeah out. and and i'm just stood there thinking is he talking to me because are you talking to me <laughs> well it was quite weird it was quite weird because do you feel lucky punk <laughs> yeah well, that's the way i felt at the time <laughs> but um i just thought well who you know none of the guys down here that we know on the boats would ever just wouldn't do it no. and uh so i just thought well he's where has he come from never had a problem before no anyway it sort of carried on a bit and um and then i actually realized he was actually talking to me which was and because I, I was the only one on the towpath so then you come out to see what was going on didn't you i did and uh yes yeah, so, nothing on my feet and yeah yeah let's say the ground around here has got a load of stinging nails in it yeah the dog i mean the girls were getting quite upset and about the it fact all. that half a mile away is a pub yeah well no that's, that's a bit more than that no it's about half a mile but um yeah the girls got quite upset about it all and started barking and everything so then i i was concerned for them because it he was obviously drunk oh he'd had a few he was staggering everywhere and to actually come down the towpath in that state yeah shouting uh, out here i am here i am yeah you know you know, come and get it sort of thing yeah and then then he then turned and accused me and then he turned around and said um you know you lot own the, what do you think you do own own the towpath and i'm still actually jonathan that was before jonathan come out i'm still stood there on my own with the dogs and, I, and i'm looking around thinking well we've got nothing on the towpath there is nothing on the towpath around us so I can't see where I'm going. Yeah. He said, he started yeah. shouting. Yeah. So I said to him, well, you can. I said, because there's a light on. He said, well, turn the effing light out. Mm. I said, it's automatic. It comes on. I said, you're moving it. It keep coming on until you go away. Yeah, you've come into I the I said, zone. just keep walking. I said, you've obviously been down the path. Yeah. So then he got more abusive and called yeah. us uh, quite a few derogatory terms. Yeah. Um, told me to get a job. Yeah, <laughs> told us to get a job and called us gypsies so we had to move the boat yeah and uh yeah it was just it was quite surreal absolutely surreal and this this chap that 
where did he come from? Where did, where did she, well, yeah. I know where he came from. Yeah. Um, um, anyway, it sort of carried on. The two of the dogs ended up sipping their leads because collars, because they just couldn't cope with his body language or anything about it at all. Um, so I managed to grab them and put them on the boat. We actually got all three on the boat because by this time I was worried that he was going to start kicking the dogs. Um, and then when I did that and turned around to face him, he then threatened to throw me in the uh, canal. And this is all at 11 o'clock at night. So it wasn't very pleasant, was it? Yeah. No. It's, it's just the fact that there was no need for it. We hadn't done anything wrong. It no. wasn't a light shining directly in his eyes. It yeah. was just a small LED showing light for safety for when we get off the boat. Yeah. It's just that he didn't want it on. He may be local, he may, which is obvious. Um, but let's just say his choice of words towards me, the women, <laughs> uh, when he's had a few, yeah. is not nice. Yeah, because uh, yeah. there, there was no need for that behaviour. No, and that's why I said to you, just keep walking. Yeah, and it keep walking, and the light would go out. The light would go out, and that yeah. was the and problem. He did. he did walk off. The light went out. Then he decided, oh, I'm going to come back and have another go at them. So he turned around and he switched the light back on, and yeah. then it all started over again. So, and we kept saying, if you just walk away, it will go off. Anyway, Mr. Angry was Mr. Angry. Yeah, so it, it wasn't a pleasant evening. And we have to we have to say, we've been on the boat almost three years. And we have never, no. ever come across anything like that. And hopefully never will again. No. As I say, it, it took me by surprise because I really wasn't, didn't know who he was talking well, to. Just didn't well, expect I didn't, it. Just expected the dogs out for their final... Um, water in the garden and uh, oh. no, it called it was, all um, kinds of names. So I don't know how it would have ended if Jonathan hadn't come out because as I say he did threaten to throw me in the canal so I don't know what would have happened but if he attempted to do that it would have been not me in the canal let's put it that way. Um, I mean, my last job was talk, <laughs> talking situations like that down so yeah that's what I did and eventually walked off. There yeah. were no fish thrown. Nobody no. got hurt. No. Nope. Sticks just... and stones, as they say. Um, but yeah, it's, there was just no need for it. It was no need and for it. And it upset the night, really. It, it let us go to bed thinking, I hope you don't come back. Yeah. That'd be a no on the phone. <laughs> so that, that was that was a problem. And um, But this is a, it is a lovely morning. And as I say, we have never, ever come across anything like that before. Um, such a shame but you know it's what some people are like but anyway we'll be moving on again um, yeah if the weather's shortly. good tomorrow so we're due rain time. tonight and we're getting it now not too heavy so we did we haven't moved I so say that was Saturday and we're just a few days later so it it's a 14 days more but yeah. I don't particularly want to be here for Saturday night no just in case he comes back <laughs> just again. in case he goes down a pub again yeah so um no it's not a very good idea to do that I think I think it's best to move on um anyway that's what we're, we're going to be doing um as we say most of the time it's it's nice and it's peaceful yeah so, so we've never had it so you only need one you only need one and it spoils everything but it has been very busy here. Lots and lots of boats, high boats out. Yeah, around. well, at least they're managing to get a holiday, yes. which is one thing. The yeah. weather hasn't been too bad this week, apart from this rain. And um, the hire companies get to make a bit of money. Yeah, at long last. So, long last. yes, it's it's silly season, but we don't mind that so much. Everybody's cheerful. I help them through the locks if they're I see cheerful. them. I, you know, wish them a happy holiday. Yeah. So a couple of I helped a lady through um, a couple of days ago obviously very new never been on a boat before and she was panicking because it was obviously their first lock yeah. ever lock so I stayed with her and um, explained what to do which she was quite grateful for and and that helped her through so she gave her a bit more confidence so it is you know us boaters we do that yeah you know, we can see struggling I asked Mandy for a tin of beer just a, you know, just the one. Tin of beer? Yeah. So, you want to see what I got? Oh, yeah. I'll put the picture on. I'll put the picture on. I'm just hoping it's full of beer. <laughs> this is the stand for the indoor shoot. So, yeah. Yeah, I won't say anymore. I'll just no, show no, you just... the picture. Well, move the camera and show No, me. I can't. Anyway, all right. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's a milk churn. <laughs> it's an old it's milk churn off our farm. Churn. And it's currently... <laughs> inside the boat 
and it's a seat. I, I use it as a seat. We use it as a yeah. seat. And I said, oh, I need something to sit on. And I've been using this now for months. Yeah, well, and it's a temporary. It's quite comfortable. Yeah, well, it, yeah, but yours is that. And mine's the laundry basket. I sit on top of the laundry basket because they've both broken. You better go out and buy some new um, ones, So you? I need to actually, yeah, I know. But it's finding the right one to go under the counter. Yeah. And at the moment, these are actually... Just the right height. It's just the right height, so they're just working on. But they're not full of beer. Well, they're not full, no, they're not full of anything. Um... But no, so that's a, a remnants from the farm, and uh, and it's not painted. It's as it was. Yeah, as you'll see, it hasn't got castles and roses, roses on it. Roses and castles. Even. And um, I keep looking at, it thinking maybe one day I'll do it. But then every time I look at it, I think, do you know, I don't want to do it because it's the farm, not the canal. So and and it's actually got the name on the top of the lid as well, which is quite nice. So that's what we're doing at the moment. So that's our latest. And the other bit of good news I've got, because of all you know that I do sing with a choir. Advertising again. I'm going to advertise this because I'm so We don't proud. get any money out of this, by No, the we way. don't. No, we don't. We don't get any money out of anything. No, because <laughs> no, the money goes to the charity anyway. Um, earlier in the year, we released the film, Military Wives, and, and that was, did a lot of promotion for that. And the film was released on dvd because as soon as it was released we had lockdown and that was it yeah. that that was it in the cinema no more cinemas closed down so very very proud to say that it's out on dvd and it's number one in the charts number it's one all in for the charity me yeah and <laughs> yeah not all for charity but donate so look, some of the money from the film actually goes to your eyes choir. goes to saffa which is the forces, um, yeah. So charity. that is forces charity. So there is a bit of money out of the film that goes through it. So really, really pleased because it's been really hard to, over the period of time, the work we've been doing with this, to go on and off the boat when we're moving the boat and we're continually cruising. So I've been up and down the country doing all sorts of different things. I've been steering the boat. <laughs> He's been here on the boat and uh so Walking it's been dogs. really good so it's lovely to know that the film is made number one in the film and the official film charts so i'm really proud about that and then hopefully one day we'll be able to sing because it's because we're a group of more than six we can't stay, sing at the moment so we're still on zoom rehearsing which is not good anyway that's the difference so that's my good news so i'm really proud I haven't got any news. <laughs> oh, you have? You're painting. Well, not in this weather. No, not in this weather. And not with that farm next door. It's not the same place. He's done it on purpose. Just to But you're painting. What are you painting? I'm painting the back hatch. Because yeah. it's, it's made three years ago. Well, when we at got Crick. the boat. When we was yeah, at Crick. Crick. Nice yeah. place up there. Mm. Straight and narrow. Straight it? and narrow, yeah. And he did a few jobs for us. Yeah. Nice, good work. But um, it's, it's starting to show its age with the weather and all the time mm. so i rubbed it down the other day and i'm bringing it back up yeah but you'll see that in another lot in another vlog so that's what we've been doing haven't we mm. so that's not doing too bad i mean the poor chap who is on a wide beam uh did some painting and they're painting harvesting the roof. They harvest this, this is what came through the hedge yesterday just before i was going to put the third coat on so it was all this fine and dust that came through he had just done a coat on his roof i well, know on the back on the one of the back panels wasn't yeah. it yeah. and now he's got some um, grass or whatever it was they were cutting the other well, side it's of the, the chaff, hedge chaff dust yeah so um yeah he's, he's not well chaffed is he <laughs> no he's well, not well he is actually he's all yeah. over the place then he gets got to do it again so that's that's our news you've caught up with us at the moment and so the next vlog will be back um on some cruising videos and thanks for watching and thank you so much for our new subscribers um and if you haven't done already please subscribe to the channel it's free and it really does help our channel um give us a thumbs up and give us a comment because we like reading your comments as well and then there's also patreon if you want to follow us on patreon um it's really great to hear from your comments as well from both channels the patreon channel and also everybody else isn't it? youtube yeah youtube and everything so, there are some nice, very nice comments on yeah, there. Yeah, some lovely yeah. comments. People are quite nice. Yeah. So anyway, as we said, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And see you soon. Watch this space. <laughs>